Ben, you're getting your first sneak peek here on Studio 5. What do you want to start with, Richard? Okay, the first thing that we're going to be talking about and what, that we have is something called magnetic putty. So as you can imagine, it's putty like silly putty, but it has some levitates. Wow. A lot of people don't realize, like in uh, like in cereal, like in total, there's iron, right? Not magnetic iron. Well, there's iron, but if you take a magnet to it, it actually will separate it and pull out the uh, pull out the iron from the cereal. So that's just a fun activity that we want wow. to show people. So this it's magnetic putty. It's cereal choice, but okay. No. The magnetic putty is really something that's kind of fun. And as you can see, what it does to magnets is that over time, it will totally engulf a magnet. <laughs> but it's a slow-moving activity. So that's one of the fun things that we have. Can I try this? Uh -huh. yeah, Brooke's enthralled by the putty here now. Okay. See how it moves toward Look. it? It's oh, you're moving. good. <laughs> okay, I like that. Very cool. Okay, so that's one of the activities and the kits that we have. Okay. Another one has to do with polymers. What's a polymer? Glad you asked. A polymer you don't know has what a polymer to is? <laughs> Basically, a polymer is a molecule made up as a very big molecule made up of little molecules. Kind of like this volleyball here. Go ahead and hold that up there. Because as you can see, we'll take the... Oh, I was going to say, is that supposed to be stuck to there? <laughs> as you can see, a round ball is made up of various other shapes. And so that's similar to what a polymer is. So right here we have super absorbent polymers. Okay. Now you might want to ask, and as you can see those, go ahead and touch those and you can see what they, they're Ooh. very slimy. They're basically filled with water. One polymer can hold 300 times its weight in water. So, Darren, if you were a super absorbent polymer, <laughs> okay, <you laughs> which would, is something I imagine every day. Okay? That's right, get this, you would be able to drink 2,000 gallons of water. Wow. That's a bladder buster. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my bladder's made out of polymers, too. <laughs> so you can see now what we can do here with the activity is as you pour water into a water-filled polymer, watch what happens to the polymers. Okay. <gasps> they they like disappear. Vanish. As you can see, they disappear. And so there's some things happening there that have to do with light and how light refracts. That is freaky. So as you can see, if you pour them back into the, if you pour the water back oh, into the cup. they're still there. They're still there. <laughs> so gradually pour the water out into the cup. That is so weird. Okay, so just okay. gradually pour okay, it out okay. and you'll see them reappear. Pour all of them out? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now, now that's good right there. So she, see how they're, they're, uh, they're, still, they're still all there? there? Yeah. So it's, it's talking about how light refracts and how it deals with water. I in feel a water like you're Professor color. Dumbledore and I'm Harry Potter. This <laughs> is fun. Okay, now this, is, this next one is kind of a fun one that, Darren, oh, maybe you can, this you is can my, play this with. This is my favorite one this right is here. Called, this is called, um, uh, it's going to be gravity goo. In other words, it's kind of like a scientific slinky. And what it is, is a polymer but it's a string polymer and once you have the polymer it will never break and it will pull each other from one side of the cup to the other so he's actually not pouring it out it's being pulled out isn't that correct yeah you can see it in the cup here it's all being sucked out of the bottom of the cup even though my cup is not tipping it out it's very gooey it's a lot of fun, and it's an activity that you can sit on the kitchen table, and for weeks, for a week, it will stay out there, and kids can just kind of go back and forth with it. And so we show them how to make it and how to create different types of polymers. That is very oh, fun. Okay. Oh, I wasn't watching where I was pouring there. Okay, the, for, the forget the fact is now all over that my we script. made an organic <laughs> mess here. Okay, one minute, a couple more we want to get through, right? Okay, now we have, we have this one, a lava lamp. A lava lamp is something that you had when you were a, a younger child, right? Yeah. No, maybe not. Okay, so how do you do it? You have regular um, cooking oil, any vegetable oil, and you put a little water right in the top and watch what happens. You can see how it's blobbing, right? Yeah. You add the various crystals to it, and immediately what will happen is the crystals will dissolve and then it will start bubbling up. So go ahead and pick that up and you can see how, they're pick, how they start e erupting. And what we've done is, Darren, just take this one here and in a few minutes this is what it looks oh, like. So you can see all the little 
Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And see how they're blobbing? So that is like a lava lamp. Cool. That is so cool. One of the other activities. Okay, now, one the last, last one? one. The last one. This is called Thinking. Now, this is one that we are developing. It's not going to be out right yet, but we're just going to have an experiment with it. I want to get your opinion to see what it's like. So what we're going to do <laughs> is when you pour this one into here, I want you to think ink. Think ink. So pour it in quickly and go ahead. Think. Okay, I'm ink. concentrating on ink really think hard. Ink. Ink. And ink. so as you're thinking about that, it should go oh. to ink. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're working on this one, but do you think it has some potential? Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That okay. is incredible. Thank you very much. Richard, ah. you're my favorite. Thank you. That is great. Okay, these toys again, not available yet. They'll be available when, do you think? Uh, well, starting in June. Okay, June-ish. So Be Amazing Toys is where you want to go to find these beginning in about June.